Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shochin Anand Dotto from Eco Learning, Learning from Home. So today we'll talk about the biological classification or introduction to biological classification. So first of all, we have to discuss uh, about the taxonomy. So taxonomy, it's a Greek word. It's meaning the taxic means the arrangement and nomia means the method. So it's the arrangement method of biological organism on the basis of their share characteristic or the key characteristic. So taxonomy is a branch of biology that classify all living organism or all living things. It was first developed or discovered or uh, by Swedish botanist the Carl Linnaeus or Carolus Linnaeus and we know that he is also the father of taxonomy. And there is also taxonomical hierarchy, different uh, group uh, are there. So it's in, in taxonomical hierarchy, the top is the domain and the domain is divided into kingdom and the kingdom have the phylum. And in case of plant, we instead of phylum, we used a division and then class, order, uh, family, genus and species. So this is the taxonomical hierarchy. Then uh, talk about the type of taxonomy. What are the types of taxonomy? So here we can see the alpha taxonomy. Alpha taxonomy is based on the external morphological characteristic and beta taxonomy. Beta taxonomy is based on the external characteristic, but along with the external characteristic, it is also uh, based on the embryological, cytological, anatomical characteristic of that particular organism. And omega taxonomy, it's based on the information or data available on that particular organism. And the cytotaxonomy, it's totally based on the cytological characteristic of this organism. And on the basis of the cytological characteristic, we classify that or, uh, organism and taxonomical problem solving by cytotaxonomy. And the chemotaxonomy, it's based on the use of chemical of the organism. So there are different types of chemical like alkaloid, like the tannin, like the nucleic acid, fatty acid, amino acid, and lots of aromatic compounds. So based on this chemical compound, we classify the particular organism. So that is called the uh, chemotaxonomy. Then the karyotaxonomy. Karyotaxonomy is based on the characteristic of nucleus and the chromosome. So these are the different types of taxonomy. Now talk about the nomenclature. So nomenclature is the naming of organism. So it's a science by which we, we classify the organism and we also give the name of this organism. So that is the nomenclature. And in general, uh, nomenclature are basically two types. It's uh, the vernacular or common name and uh, the scientific name so vernacular common name is ununomial ununomial means a single name like we call tiger we call deer okay we called elephant so these are the ununomial but but it's it's must have a regionally regional wise different okay and scientific that is the unique to the whole world so it's a scientifically we give a name of organism that is also a binomial nomenclature so it has two part by means two but it has two part one is the species and one is the genus so genus and species though they are combinedly called the organism that the scientific name of this particular organism so why the scientific name is better than the common name so what the problem with the common name as i earlier told that the common name have a regional identity okay that will be gives a big problem or big confusion uh, among the all the, the name of this particular organism so that's why we need the scientific unique name throughout the world like one example here we call elephant in english it's elephant in bengali it is called hati in hindi we called it gaja in Japanese, it could be a different. In French, in uh, Spanish, Elephantia. So this is the different uh, name of a particular organism. So that's a confusing. So that's why we need this binomial, binomial scientific name of that is the binomial nomenclature. And this binomial nomenclature is also de described by the Carl Linnaeus or Carl Linnaeus in his three famous book in, in related to taxonomy, related to classification 
and related to nomenclature so this his three book is philosophy of botanica published first in 1751 and system uh, species platurum that's published in 1753 and then system and nature it's first published in 1735 and first volume and the 11th or 10th volume which published or final volume it's published a uh, final uh, of this system and nature published in 1758 not talk about the binomial nomenclature rules so, so rules of binomial nomenclature so there is the five international bodies who give and who have the authorized to give all the organism name and this five organism or five organization are different like uh, for botany for botany means the for the plant we called uh, it was international code of botanical nomenclature but now it's converted into international code of uh, nomenclature for algae fungi and plant so this three algae fungi and plant in a same uh, group or uh, then the for animal we, uh, we, we, we give the international code of geological nomenclature and the for virus international code of viral nomenclature for bacteria international code of bacterial nomenclature and the thing is that for cultivated plants so it's uh, international code of cultivated uh, plant nomenclature of cultivated plant so this is the five international organization who have the authority to give uh, the naming of any particular particular organism or particular newly discovered organism so it must have uh, the approved by these five uh, international bodies and uh, there are few rules of uh, naming of organism or the binomial nomenclature so here are lots of rules but we uh, i plot there five or six very common rules so first of all this uh, the genus name should be capitalized means genus first uh, or later should be capital word and species name should be in small letter not in capitalized like homo sapiens so homo is the genus so its first letter should be capitalized and species sapiens is the species name so it must be in all or small letter then binomial nomenclature it uh, should be written in uh, when we are written so it must be underlined and when it's printed it may, it must be in italy's format italy's font and uh, the name of uh, the scientist who discovered or who first described this particular species his name should be put in within the bracket after the binomial name or scientific name like uh, hilsasad is a common name and scientific name is a chinulisa elisa is discovered by hamilton and also the year in which year that particular organism is uh, discovered that his uh, year is also putting after the name of the uh, discover scientist like the Tenulisa Elisa discovered by Hamilton in 1822. So these are the few rules of uh, binomial nomenclature. Now talk about the bi biological classification. So biological classification is a group of organism based on their similarity or dissimilarity. So based on their similarity how they look like and their dissimilarity we classify the organism in a particular group okay like this group this organism uh, these uh, types of organism are uh, look like this similar so now we put this phylum or this order or this genus so this is biological classification and uh, in 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 earth we, till now we have discovered almost 1 million uh, described species of plants and animals and there are lots of species uh, still now it's un, un, uh, undescribed uh, millions of species is still now it's there like in, in, in the depth of the ocean in the depth of the ocean there is much more uh, the species are there we don't know uh, how they look like and uh, it, it's not discovered you know lots of virgin forest in the world that uh, we did not uh, touch by any human population and we don't know that what are the pieces are there within that virgin forest and uh, very hostile condition like a hydrothermal vent and there is also newly discovered species is coming up so there are lots of the species need to be discovered in near future and will be discovered in near future and uh, this biological classification is also the three type one is the artificial system classification it's based on the one or two morphological characteristic and natural uh, system classification based on the several morphological characteristic along with the anatomy cytology genetics and molecular biology characteristic of that particular organism and phylogenetic system of classification it's based on the evolutionary relationship how it's they evolved on this species or this uh, group and the phylogenetic relationship we'll talk later 
and then domain in uh, the hierarchy of uh, the taxonomy group as we, previous slide we say that a domain is the top in uh, the order so domain uh, is the broadest uh, term in uh, inclusion of uh, the order tax and so the three domain system was first discovered uh, by Carl Ouse in uh, 1977 he he gripped uh, the three domain name he uh, described the archaea bacteria or equia these are the three domain and he described this three domain on the basis of the ribosomal structure of the rRNA or structure of the ribosomal RNA. So this three domain archaea, bacteria and eukarya is also the eukarya bacteria is in, in belongs to this uh, divided into one group that is the monera kingdom monera and they are also unicellular prokaryote and uh, they don't have any uh, cell membrane or no nucleus will be there but in eukaryote they are little bit evolved and they are much more complex and they have a nucleus and the cell membrane organelles are there and in eukarya the four kingdom the plantae animalia fungi and podista will be floated now talk about the first taxonomist the Irish turtle 2000 years back in uh, 350s BC so he was an first taxonomist he is also a uh, father of uh, geology and father of botany so he is also no father of sorry father of uh, geology and father of biology so uh, he is the first taxonomist he uh, describe or the all the living organism into two part and one is the plant and animal and he also described uh, divided the plant into three the herb herb and tree and he is also divided animal into two part in anemia or anemia anemia means with rbc and anemia means uh, no rbc will be there without rbc that's the anemia and means absent absent of rbc and he all also uh, divided the animal kingdom in, in in based on their habitat the terrestrial is it or it may be aquatic or aerial so three these are the uh, taxonomic classification uh, provided by aristotle Next two kingdom system classification. Two kingdom system classification give uh, by Carl in, in in 1735. He divided uh, the all the living organisms into two groups. One is the plantium, one is the animalia. He give this regnum vegetivili and regnum animali. So his drawback he did not divide it, the procreate eukaryote. Uh, he should not separate the bacteria and the fungi should be or must be separate uh, from a different group. Then the three kingdom classification. Three kingdom classification is given by the Ernst Haeckel uh, in 1866. Ernst Haeckel, he is also coined the name, the coined the term ecology. And if he he give the term also, he coined the term also first the protista. So he is the first man that give this name protista. So he divided the, all the life on earth into three kingdom, three kingdom. These are the protista, plantae and animalia. So drawback of his system, so he did not also divide it, uh, the procreate in, in a uh, they, he put in in a same group and uh, he did not uh, separate the fungi huh? next the four kingdom classification four kingdom classification is given by the Copland in uh, 1938 so he give, divided the life so monera protista plantae and animal so he is the first man who described uh, the monera into a separate group means the prokaryote should be separate and uh, drawback of his uh, system is he did not uh, separate the fungi then the five kingdom classification system that ultimately this five kingdom classification system is given by the Robert Whittaker in 1969 and that is the worldwide accepted until now the lots of uh, means everywhere this five kingdom classification it's still now using and it's a world famous uh, classification system here the monera protista fungi plantae and animalia these are the five kingdom and uh, this five kingdom are differentiated in cell nutrition and top uh, structure and the reproduction cell they have procured an unicellular only monera and protista are eukaryote unicellular and also few are multicellular fungi plantae animalia all three are the eukaryote multicellular and nutrition type they are autotroph monera but they are chemoautotroph and uh, is also heterotrophic saprophytic or parasitic so regarding this uh, nutrition type what is saprophytic what is parasitic what is hologic i have described in my first lecture on uh, introduction to biological uh, system of biology so you visit this uh, uh, video and you understand that what are the different types of nutrition 
and uh, so monera placed in virus and bacteria all the virus bacteria and protista the, all the protozoans and slime molds uh, fungi are the yeast moss from all the fungi fungus and all the plants from algae to angiosperm from our in planty group and animal all the porifera from mammal to all the uh, individual or in animalia now I talked about the phylogeny so phylogeny it's an evolution so first thing that uh, curl lineage Carlos Linnaeus is, is described the taxonomy, he described the classification or nomenclature system, but he does not or did not relate the evolution with the taxonomy. Okay, that's the drawback of uh, Linnaeus classification system. But after that, the Darwin and Wallace, the world uh, to famous uh, naturalist or the evolution biologist or uh, the famous biologist. So they are the first uh, two scientists. They they, they take uh, the build uh, the relationship between the taxonomy with evolution. And so systematic is the determining the phylogeny of the species. So phylogeny means the evolution relationship based on phylogeny typic similarities and differences so phylogeny means have how the uh, they are origin and it's uh, like a means of where they are going so branching of origin of different species or different groups so this is the phylogeny that and the, in this phylogeny tree you can see that the three uh, three per domain how they are evolved and uh, so from there have a common ancestor so after the darwin it was interrupted uh, interpreted to so phylogenetic relationship to construct the evolutionary tree so it's an evolutionary tree now talk about the clad and cladogram so clad is uh, the group of organism they consist of a common ancestor and it is also linear linear descent means it follow a linearity and it represent a single branch of other tree means they have a common ancestor and they follow a linear linearity in uh, other tree and uh, this here we can see a cladogram so cladogram is the branching uh, diagram to show the evolutionary history of a species so it's it's, it's the cladogram helped the scientist to understand the how one lineage branches so lineage branches means they they, they have follow a linear pattern and they the gap between the, this group this group is a similar so it's 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 it's, it's a linear pattern and from uh, one another in course of evolution so it's a different between the cladogram and the phylogeny that's the phylogeny does not uh, follow any linear pattern it's 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 it's, it's a evolutionary history evolutionary history and it could uh, and this cladogram have a single branch it's have a, a single branch but in in, in phylogeny it might be more than one branch so that's uh that's all about uh, the biological classification thank you thank you for watching this video if you like the video please uh, hit the like button and please subscribe and share our channel and please hit the bell icon to take the future future video notification from our channel thank you